All right. So I want to talk about Mind Palace memory training again today. The discussion today is about the linking method. What it can be used for, what it's best designed to do, uh, how to implement it, how to, how to learn that and to implement that in your own life. Some of you probably have heard of the linking method before, others maybe not. Um, it's not as popular as the Mind Palace, but it's a lot easier. It's actually a stepping stone to the Mind Palace, which you've already heard about on this channel. So without further ado, let's get started with the linking method. Essentially, when you boil it down, the linking method is a way of m memorizing lists by breaking the list down into each of its key items and then linking those items together, hence the name linking method, uh, linking two items at a time together via a story or an idea in your head, an image in your head, uh, and continuing that chain all the way down through the list. So, for example, Let's imagine you have a list, um, and the first item on the list is an orange. And you get oranges from the store. And the second item is a battery. So what the image for a battery might be, or what, what the link here, the link image for this would be, maybe, would be you take a bite of this fresh orange, and instead of you know orange juice uh, dripping from your mouth, it's battery acid drips out of your mouth, stains everything, uh, makes you sick. So that, so that is your link for oranges and your link for batteries, and that's that's the first two items of your list, memorized. Now let's imagine the third item in the list is a t-shirt. Well now you have to link a t-shirt to the last item in the list, which is batteries. So maybe you're getting ready to go somewhere, you're trying to dress nicely, but your shirt doesn't do you any good unless you plug it in and charge it first. So you imagine plugging your shirt into the wall charger. Keep making these stories ridiculous. So that is the key to uh, memorizing them. So now you can remember the orange and that leads you to the battery and the battery leads you to the shirt. And you can add something to the shirt and you keep going and going and going with these crazy stories until you have this long list memorized and all you have to do is remember, remember orange is the one that starts you off and then it starts you down this this journey this link it's all linked together uh, via this ridiculous story and that's how the linking method works the more senses the more sensory information you can tie to an image the easier it is to remember it uh, I would wager that you remember this list that I just gave you with relative ease. Um, obviously you want to do it the way that works for you. Don't necessarily use these images uh, yourself if they don't work for you. Which is actually something I learned in the Ben Cardall Monographs Live thing. Which makes total sense. Shouldn't, it's not a surprise to anyone that using other people's pegs and memory methods doesn't always work on you as an individual because their, their methods are designed for them and it makes sense to them. I'm not entirely sure what just happened there. I had like another minute's worth of footage that just disappeared at the end of that last clip. I'm not, not entirely sure where it went. Just kind of got corruptors. I don't know. Um, so I'm not going to bother rewriting or re-recording <coughs> all that footage. I'm just going to go ahead and sum up, paraphrase what that was all about. Uh, I'm going to challenge you now with the skills that I just taught you about uh, the linking method and see if you can memorize all of the uh, items that you're about to see 
Uh, you'll have about 30 seconds of footage to memorize, but uh, feel free to pause it if you need time to memorize any more of it. If you need more time. Uh, just use the linking method, whatever works for you, to memorize what I just listed. 